Hello, this is Oleg with Open Bomb. In this video, you will learn about three fundamental parts of uh, Open Bomb data modeling. Those are basic uh, building blocks. So let's start from the basic data element of Open Bomb properties. So properties, you can call them attributes, are defining the basic data elements that you put. So navigate to administrator function and you will see property tables. Public property tables is the place where OpenBOM creates property by default. And you can create a private property table and those property, ta property table will hold properties that you can manage for yourself, for your account, for your team or company. Let's uh, navigate to a public space and you will see that there are many properties that are already defined in OpenBOM and you can use this property like it's the, clearly the place where you can define properties and use them so for example this description there are many description properties that created you know two engineers five opinions about how to call properties so you can certainly do whatever you want in open bomb so start using public properties if you need to define private properties you can define your own pro property table and define properties there so the next uh, element of open bomb data model is a catalog so a catalog is a database of uh, items and everything that you manage in open bomb is an item item can be a material part assembly anything so the first thing that you can do you can create a catalog and you can plan catalogs that you want to have so let's create a catalog and uh, create a catalog just by name so i create a catalog for my uh special items okay a catalog uh, uh, use a part number setup so i can create a prefix i can create a range for part numbers and uh, i can set some other properties so i'm taking default and for the moment i have a catalog that can hold uh, different items so keep in mind the data structure in OpenBOM is completely flexible and I can add any additional properties. Remember, the properties that you defined before. So I can add a property, for example, to manage a supplier name. I'm searching public properties, but I can also create a private property here. So let's add supplier name. So now I have supplier name. So keep in mind, absolutely flexible. Now I can add another property, which will be supplier part number. Again, I'm searching by default in public properties and I use these properties, but if you want, you can use private properties as well. So you're not, not required to use public properties. So now you see, I have a record that I can use to manage part numbers. So adding new part number automatically generate a number using the uh, range that we defined. And now I can bring additional values here. So I can grab information, for example, for this case from the fastenal and let's uh, find uh, a particular you know let, let's find something okay so we can put an anchor <coughs> let's let's put a, a number okay so just let's just take some some values i can easy copy image and bring it back to the image property so what you can see is that you have a different uh, image properties, different other properties that's used in this. So that I can put quantity on hand. I can copy description. So I can, it's completely flexible. So um, you can bring any properties you need. So the idea is very simple. You define, this is the database of all your items. So once I define the, this database, I can use this part in other places. So now in order to define bill of materials, bill of materials is also item. So I create an assembly that uh, that would be my test assembly that I will be building my first bomb here. So this is my test assembly. Okay. So now what uh, I recommend you to use a, a command called open items bomb. So open item bombs also identifies if you have the bomb for this item. If not, it creates the bomb. So once you create the bomb, important that you are using the catalog. Uh, and its catalog is assigned to this bomb. So that will be a simple way to grab items from this catalog. And you can use multiple catalogs uh, as a databases for different items. So what you can see now is that I created my bill of materials for this item test assembly. 
So once I created it, uh, double check. It's a good idea to double check that you're using this catalog. Usually not a problem, but just in case. If something goes wrong, you need to be sure that you're using catalog with this bomb. If you data is not retrieved, that's the first time, to, first place to check, okay? So now so I'm using this catalog. I can type part number, but I can also use search command. Search command automatically searching in the catalogs that you have assigned in this BOM and I can select the item and I can insert it in this BOM. Now uh, let's learn a little bit about the properties. So you see part number, it's a key. You see the properties that has the uh, properties that have these square brackets, those are the data that comes from catalog. And the properties that are uh, doesn't the property that doesn't have square brackets is the instance property. So if I put five quantity, five pieces, that would be my bomb property. But if this is the cost description or anything else that we put in a catalog, it defined here. So important, you can edit this information in the bomb, but once you edit this information here, it will be applied to the catalog and it will be in all places. So we edit this 240 for this cost property. Go back to the catalog. You see the data is updated. You have multiple bombs using the same item in the catalog, obviously. This is the single source of truth. And this is the data that applies to all bombs. So those are fundamental basic elements of open bomb data model. Property can be anything, different types. You can search uh, and check uh, documentation about different types. Catalog, database of all your items, completely flexible. You can define any properties. Bill of materials. Bill of materials, the same thing. If I want to add a particular attribute here, property that will be instant space I can do it so you have complete flexibility on the data properties on the definition of the item and on the definition of bill of materials so that was all with the basic elements of open bomb data model and I will talk to you in the next video